Hi, I'm Brian from the Epicenter.com. We have a beautiful day today in Oregon, and this is kind of a rarity, so we're going to take advantage of the sunlight uh, at the beginning of June, and we're going to demonstrate this small solar panel. This is a portable solar panel uh, that's uh, foldable, and it has a USB output jack. Now this is supposed to be a 5 watt panel and this is something that we're thinking about selling so it may show up on our website but we're going to go ahead and hook this up today and we're going to see what kind of power we can get out of this. Now the one thing about solar is to get the most amount of power you need to have the panel oriented so the sun's rays come in at a 90 degree angle uh, to the panel. Okay. Now the position of the sun and the angle of the sun changes throughout the year, but it also changes throughout the day. Uh, right now we're in the, the northern hemisphere, we're in Eugene, Oregon, and uh, it is about one o'clock. The sun is straight above us right now, and in this location, uh, the ideal angle to hit the sun at the correct angle for the most amount of power is, uh, is this angle, which is 28 degrees from horizontal. Uh, which is 62 degrees from vertical. So what we've done is we've made a little uh, platform to set this on so that we're at the correct angle uh, for the most amount of power. So what we have here is we have a meter hooked up to the solar panel. This is the output and it's a 5 volt regulated output. Uh, we have a meter hooked up and a battery to run that so if the voltage goes down too low the meter is still powered. And then we have a load here and what we're going to do is this is a variable resistor with a fixed resistor and we're going to increase the load until this voltage drops too far and that's really going to tell us what the maximum power is of this panel. Uh, for a USB device that charges something else like a, a wall charger there's a minimum voltage that's allowed uh, and that is 3.6 volts. So we're going to go ahead and apply a load and uh, we'll show you some data. Okay now we've got this hooked up we're going to go ahead and start increasing the load. You're going to see here there's 5 volts output from the panel and down here this is measuring watts. Now as I adjust this you're going to see the power increase and you'll probably see the voltage decrease as well as we increase the power so here we go we're at about 0.5 watts right now we're coming up on uh, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 1 watt and the voltage is still really good it's 4.99 right now um, we're at 1.5 watts coming up on 2 still 4.7 volts doing good and th right there you saw the voltage drop and it looks like I'm trying to adjust this it looks like 3.1 watts is about the most we're going to be able to get and still keep the output voltage above 3.6 volts okay so right there it looks like 3.1 watts with 3.9 volt output and so anyway um, if you're going to be using something like this where you have stronger uh, sunshine uh, like Hawaii or Arizona or California, Southern California, you can probably expect to get some more power than that. But this is the best that we can do uh, on a June day here in Oregon, um, in Eugene, Oregon. So now in the next couple of days the weather is going to turn and it's not going to be quite as nice it's not going to be rainy but it is going to be cloudy and we're going to go ahead and run these same tests uh, when we have less than ideal light conditions and we're going to see how much power you get realistically when you don't have this kind of sunlight okay so stay tuned so using solar in Oregon is always an issue it was uh, nice a few minutes ago I was going to do some demonstrations and all of a sudden it's like this. Here we are under less than ideal conditions. Uh, we have a little bit of sun coming over here and behind us you can see nice dark clouds. Uh, and right now we're not really seeing a shadow. So this will uh, show you uh, how much power you can expect to get under these kind of conditions. So. Come on in here, Jen. We're going to start increasing the load. Now you can see the meter down here and you see the wattage. And I'm going to start increasing the load here. And we'll see how much power we can get. 
So we're coming up on half a watt roughly. Okay, we're coming up on one watt. Voltage looks good. Okay, now you see the voltage starting to decrease. And we're coming up to two watts. Okay, and there you see that the voltage has dropped dramatically. So I'm going to back up just a little bit. And it looks like we can get it looks like we can get about 1.7 watts keeping the output voltage above 3.6 volts. So in comparison to uh, the other day when we had a, a nice sunny day, uh, when we were getting about 3 watts, we're getting about 1.7 on a cloudy day like this. For TheEpicenter.com, I'm Epicenter Brian, signing out.